Hey guys, this is iOmega Drive 1 and man have I got something to talk about today. I'd say it was about three weeks ago when I actually looked at the front page of RuneScape. I've been busy with working, uh, several other things, I'm a mod on a Minecraft server now, and I just hadn't looked at RuneScape. Uh, I did look at I did look for the clan citadels, but that was pretty much the last time I looked. But I come I look yesterday and <laughs> who refer a friend for a bonus of 10 XP. Wow. Now guys, I know some people are going to be like it's just like wow, wow does the same thing. Well, here's the thing. WoW gives you a month free for referring a friend to the game. They don't give you, as far as I know, it might have changed, but uh, as far as I know, they give you a month free and nothing else. RuneScape, Jagets, is giving people in-game rewards for referring a friend. A 10% XP boost. And I know there's a lot of idiots out there that are also going to say 10% 10, 10 isn't a lot. Guys, even 5% is too much. 1% is too much. Any in-game reward for this kind of stuff is unacceptable. Jagets, like a lot of people have said, you can go and look on the forums. Tons of people do not like this. There was apparently a riot and... It seemed a pretty uh, seemed like there was a pretty big group of people there. Uh, that's mainly what I look for with these riots is just how many people are actually affected by this. But a lot of people are, are angry about this. I mean, if it's not that, it's the barrage of real world trading type uh, events and tactics. The katana for buying a three month uh, membership card. Uh, bots are de I can tell you right now, nothing is going to be done about bots. Nothing. There's going to be a K like Jagets is now turning into a money only type company. They want to monetize on everything right now. Keep you subscribed. Keep your uh, keep the money flowing, and they're doing pretty much anything they can, even if it means mediocre updates. And I'm not, I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, the Clan Citadel was freaking amazing. And yes, it does look quite amazing. I haven't got to experience yet, but it does look kind of fun. But with these copy and paste minigames, skill minigames, these quests which lack like no, no originality, no thought. Hell, the last Master Quest, if I'm not mistaken... On the RuneScape Wiki got a difficulty rating of 2. And its length was short. A master quest with a difficulty rating of 2. Huh. Like I said, nothing's going to be done about bots because there a lot of them are paying for membership. I know Jagets want some money, but, you know, like World of Warcraft, if they, uh do these types of uh, in-game bonuses, it's usually in the middle of some very good updates. Not just, okay, we're going to work on this update for a while. Okay, it's out. Now let's keep the money train rolling for a couple months. <sighs> I got on RuneScape yesterday just to see if anyone was on. I, a lot of my friends seem to not even be on anymore. Man, it's quite amazing. The, the company itself, the community, the YouTube community, man, doing amazing, aren't we? Man, oh, be best community out there. Be best game at the moment out there. Like I said, these copy and paste skill mini games. You know, you got the the Herblore thing that came out. They added a monster with that one. Yeah, amazing. Uh, the mining, the smithing uh, mini games, the the lunar farming thing is pretty much a mini game. Uh, but you actually get some decent rewards. 
uh, and I think it all started with wood cutting. But they held out about a year, and then they started to release them like in droves for every skill, just copy and paste the same code. In order to do this, you gotta get a certain amount of whatever, and then you gotta talk to this guy to get your reward, and then while you're doing this, there's something breaking over here, or something's going, something's messing up over here. You gotta go fix that. Now come back and start doing it all. It's the same thing. It, it feels like a copy and paste. But wow, real world trading jackets. I mean it. At first, I was like, oh, these people are sort of paranoid, you know, calling a lot of this stuff real world trading. I mean, if it's occasional and there's not a huge bonus, uh, I don't care. But now they're coming out with a bunch of these types of things, like membership loyalty, uh, this refer friend, the katana, and all that, where it's just coming and coming and coming, all these updates, and all these real world trading updates. And it's like... You could be putting your time into making a very good update. Back in the days, what there was, there was a bunch of new quests. Uh, I've been waiting for some, uh, you know, dual core support, but that might be Java issues. But dual core support would be amazing. But uh, I know some people are gonna be like, "Well, Jack is just trying to make money." Guys, a lot of scammers out there. Spark Mat, they just want to make money. Yeah, and they're selling people guides on how to freaking uh, 76k trick. I know I keep bringing that up, but Jesus Christ, the, so many people are misinformed on that whole thing, and people are trying to defend him for for doing something so stupid and sleazy. Huh. That's pretty much it. Uh, I might see you guys on RuneScape soon. I might start playing a little more. But uh, that's pretty much it. And if you want to know about the Minecraft server, just uh, PM me. It's a Fallout role-playing server. It's kind of fun. See you guys later.